from the curious to the experienced, Charleston's first health and wellness festival is here. Live Wild Fest invites guests into a purposeful and passionate community focused on movement, discovery, and creating a healthier lifestyle that is unique to them. The festival is an excellent opportunity to experience and discover what works for you in the wide world of health and wellness. The festival's co-founder, Kelsey Harrison, is with me now to talk all about what you can expect at the first festival. Kelsey, welcome. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, we're, we're so excited about this. This is kind of the first of its kind, right? Yeah, there's a lot of, well, there's none of nothing like this in Charleston, yeah. but in general, a uh, big part of our branding is that there's a lot of yoga festivals and yeah. there's a lot of health and wellness expos, and we wanted to kind of create a space where everything is experiential yeah. and to bring in music and just all different types of elements. So. I would say it's definitely one of a kind. Yeah, um, for sure. What inspired you to create this? Yeah, so I personally lead yoga retreats. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of, I view it a little bit as a mini retreat to an extent where I want it to be very impactful, mm -hmm. very community based and very experiential once mm -hmm. again. Uh, and then I'm a yoga teacher and my business partner, Dimitri, also teaches yoga. Yeah. And we <clears throat> actually taught this really fun, like, Y Gloga sculpt class. Yeah. So it was like upbeat, disco lights, yeah. that kind of thing. And we were like, oh, well, it'll be fun to do this on a much mm -hmm. larger scale. And so um, it has definitely grown from where we initially started planning it. Yeah. And we've been working on this since April of 22. Uh, and it has grown on its own. It's like as we have just navigated and trying mm -hmm. to figure out who all we want involved, all of the different awesome. Uh, health and wellness businesses, it has grown into so much more than yeah. what we could have even dreamed of at mm -hmm. the beginning. So this is happening May 4th and 5th. It's coming up. Yeah. Um, what will this look like? Yeah, so uh, we it's taking place at Holy City Brewing and we have the whole space. We'll have three different stages. And so on all of the different stages and areas, there will be offerings happening mm -hmm. constantly. Uh, and it is not just a weekend of all fitness classes. It's speakers, we have speakers from MUSC, mm. uh, we have cacao ceremonies, sound baths, meditations, wow. um, lots of different elements other than just, there is lots of yoga, yeah. hit classes, weights. We'll be bringing in um, cycle bikes for all of, from the work cycle. They're closing for the, the day and we'll be bringing all of their bikes onto the property. And then uh, when people are not taking class or in one of these offerings, we also have throughout the space different experiences. So, and it's all included in their ticket. So they can do cold plunging, cryotherapy, sauna, red light therapy, compression, massage, acupuncture, all of this stuff. That sounds incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they kind of get to just make their own itinerary. So mm -hmm. we have our schedule up on our website and our map is getting finalized and our goal is that people walk in and they just get to try all of these different mm -hmm. things that they get to experience all of these different areas of wellness that they maybe normally wouldn't yeah. and hopefully you know get to bring some of those and integrate it into their life when they leave yeah uh, and the other big part of our festival is music as well so each mm -hmm. evening will end in that live music uh, we have two different talent performers each evening and so that really comes from us wanting to create a space of joy and that collective experience because when we think of like healing we think of therapy and you know doing these dirty works but yeah. it's also so healing to be in a space of joy and mm -hmm. celebration and so at the end of each day when you've taken all these classes and meditated and maybe manifested things and learned more about your sleep and your health and mm -hmm. what makes you feel good in food, we have cooking classes, wow. then we get to all celebrate in, yeah. this, in this shared experience of music. I feel like Charleston's is such a great place for this. There's so many places you can go and kind of uh, find that community. And this is for people that might just be dipping their toe in a little bit Absolutely. to the wellness world. You don't have to be an expert on any of this. Correct, and that's, uh, so, our, my partner, Dimitri, uh, he first came into the yoga studio and in 2019, and that's where we met. He was my one of my students mm -hmm. and now he teaches. And he was always, you know, yoga's for girls yeah. and I can't do yoga. And he came in and it totally changed his life. Yeah. And so for him, discovery, that's been a big part of our core values because it's so important to, you know, like, 
to f figure out what works for you, yeah. to try things that you haven't and to be, oh, I love this. Maybe it's like the cold plunging. I love cold plunging and it's something I can add in mm -hmm. to make myself just that much healthier, mm -hmm. feel that much more alive and that much better every day. Um, tell me about how the tickets are going to work. How can we find tickets to this? Yeah, so it's all on uh, livewildfest.com. Mm -hmm. And we have full weekend passes, VIP, single day, all different kind of, so that way if people can only come Saturday, they can come uh, and you buy your ticket and you get access to all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I want to know what does wellness mean to you? Uh, to me, I think it's, uh, what I've learned is that it is, there's, we can never stop learning enough. Mm -hmm. What I've learned is that we have more to mm -hmm. learn. <laughs> I love it. And uh, I was actually diagnosed with breast cancer last mm -hmm. May. And so that has been a big challenge, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I have, feel like my eyes have opened even up even more. And it has made creating something like this even more important because we often think we're living a healthy life. And the reality is, is we could always do a little bit more. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. It doesn't have to be overdone. It can be small little changes that you make, like yeah. adding in just small things, five minutes of meditation, five minutes here, you know, one little diet change. It doesn't have to be everything at once. And I think it's so different person to person. And so that's really a big part of our goal is to for people to be able to create their own itinerary and not feel like they're being put in a box because every single one of us is different. Mm -hmm. How are you hoping people feel when they leave that festival? I'm hoping that they are inspired and they are excited. They feel like they've found a community. Maybe they found something that they want to do. Maybe it's like a certain studio or a doctor or something that has lit them up. And you know, that's where it's if you're, you've never done any of this stuff before, you can come and try it all. Or if you're, you know, someone like me who it does yoga all the time and is in all of these different types of fitness worlds, it's still important that we're inspired. It's still important we're learning and that we're taking classes, being students and continuing to educate ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a little bit of like renewal in like in their spirit mm -hmm. and then also inspiration, whether it's to be that bit, little bit healthier or if they are already instructor and already in it, then that inspiration to continue mm -hmm. to learn, continue to push. Well, I'm certainly inspired right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, for sharing your story, and for sharing all about this inspirational festival that you guys have come up with. Um, don't forget, the Live Wild Fest is coming up May 4th and 5th right here in Charleston. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.